With organic fertilizer, you can improve your yields to some extent. Uh, but again, the, the best outcome is using inorganic fertilizer. Right? Uh, so I know there's a trade-off between organic and ino inorganic. Uh, and people will have ideas about whether we should use inorganic or organic. From purely research point of view, in inorganic fertilization gives the best results. Right? So this tells you that regardless of the sowing window, if you're applying fertilizer, uh, you're, you're, you're actually guaranteed to get a bigger output um, if you're using inorganic fertilizer. If you're using organic, you could still increase your output, uh, but outputs are much higher if you're, if you're applying inorganic fertilizer. Uh, uh, this has an implication because climate change is going to actually delay the onset of rains. So, and, and that's something that we have established, uh, the, the science. Uh, the onset of rains are going to be get, so the rains are going to come later and later. We all know that it started raining he, here in around December, which is very, uh, very unusual. Right? It's, uh, uh, it's all part of climate change. Uh, so we're getting that the, the weather patterns are shifting and the rains actually do not come when they are expected, you know, they might come much later. Uh, these results show that to really ensure yourself against that uncertainty about when the rains are going to come, uh, you're actually better off uh, using fertilization, especially chemical uh, inorganic.